One of the things we're trying to do at InfraGuard at the national level is recruit top experts, uh, not only policy experts, but technology experts, so that they can become available for local communities. Uh, and so as you have questions uh, from the industry you serve or the community you serve, we'd be glad to hear from you. At this point, I'd like to bring up Mr. Jeff Weiss. Uh, he's um, one of these folks who not only has been involved in energy, but also telecommunications for a number of years. Uh, he's been working on a, uh, with folks on a report for the uh, Business Executives for National Security uh, that focuses on what you do at the local level, particularly with military bases. And I'd like him to come up for a few minutes and speak to that before we hear from Assistant Secretary Paul Stockton. Thank, thank you very much. Um, I'm Jeff Weiss. In my day job, I run a solar energy company uh, a few blocks from here called Distributed Sun. And I'm here in my capacity as a leader of uh, business executives for national security, as, as Chuck just mentioned. We've had the pleasure of knowing one another and working together over the last uh, 20 years. So um, in 2011, um, uh, uh, the D Department of Defense asked business executives for national security um, to help advise it on the business models of microgrids. So not the technologies of microgrids per se, but the business models. The business models meaning how should they be owned and how should that be organized? What is the um, effect of utility privatization? What are the appropriate size and scopes? And what are some of the, and, and, and questions as to what are some of the uh, non-technical uh, impediments? And of course, as many uh, people in the room know, this uh, conversation um, came is one of the many that came out of the uh, 2008 Defense Science Board um, study uh, looking at the, examining the uh, reliance of DOD installations on the commercial electric uh, power grid. Um, I'll summarize a couple of the uh, conclusions and let you know that the entire uh, BENS report is available publicly. It's at the BENS website, which is bens.org, and you can uh, download it um, and, and, and read it. So BENS concluded that smart microgrids um, are a potential solution to energy security needs at individual uh, DOD uh, installations, <clears throat> and specifically uh, added the word smart in what's often uh, considered microgrids, um, where there, there, there are five uh, fundamental uh, parts of that definition, where a microgrid is able to island, is renewable energy capable, sustainable for weeks or months, and the concept of time um, was, was critical, um, cyber secure and is also a smart microgrid. And I know uh, people in the room um, understand the, the many, many connotations that uh, sit underneath um, each of those uh, words, smart and cyber, et cetera. Um, at a nationwide level, the um, study uh, looked and concluded that not only would smart microgrids be effective from an energy uh, and assurance uh, and security point of view, but there also are significant cost savings to the Department of Defense uh, given the business models and that um, across the department effectively um, deployed, there could be as a base of a $225 million annual savings uh, and that the potential um, for savings is in fact um, even more substantial uh, than that. This was a broad, a broad cross cut. Four major recommendations that I'll, that I'll quickly uh, highlight. Um, in looking at uh, the need for energy uh, security and energy assurance, um, at, at, the, at the department, um, it, it, it turns out that, that today energy security per se isn't yet a, a, a broad mandate and isn't, isn't specified. So there, the, the Ben's uh, recommended establishing energy security requirements per se and defining um, the design threat basis at an energy security level uh, for defense uh, installations. Um, Number two, uh, Ben's recommended um, that, to the, at, that an organizational approach be taken to microgrid development to support timely decision making um, and deployment um, of uh, microgrids on installations. Um, number three, because um, energy and electricity is, is today provisioned, of course, by uh, utilities in all 50 states, recommends that the department uh, begin a dialogue with leadership in the electric power industry and the finance sectors to build uh, business models that effectively support the design operations uh, and, the, importantly, the third-party investment uh, in microgrids. 
Um, and that finally, because m much of the policy uh, that drives uh, the, both the attractiveness and the deployment of renewable energy is at the state level, that the um, department should also support both federal and state legislative changes to, imp imp to help remove uh, impediments to microgrid investment. There's a lot more. Chuck asked me to be uh, very brief, uh, so I'll, I'll stop there. I'd be happy to speak in the back, um, and I encourage you to uh, follow the study at, at BENS.org. Thank you.